So, you know, I'll take it forward from here. You know, the very important thing once your uh, goals setting are done, you know, one, once you know your wishes, now we have some clarity in the class. A lot of people have, you know, some, uh, some clarity about themselves when uh, you wish to be a textile person, you, you know, you have your own set of wishes, you know, on, on personal front. You know, I'm not sure about your career front, but personal front you have shared, you have shared about your career front, you have done it. So you know what you want to become in life now. And then you may think over it again. It's okay to change a wish. You have wished it today, you know, down the line you want to change it, it's fine. But, you know, keep, keep it very simple. You know, I, this, these are my set of li uh, wish list and how do I want to achieve them. Once you've identified your wish list and these are around your values that you believe in, right? So you believe in women empowerment, you believe in a social cause. So that's where you have a wish around it. That I need to go and talk to uh, children and women and, and make them go to the next level. So you have that inner thing in you, right? So, so make a wish around it. Next step what we did was, you know, to, to, uh, to, uh, to get that wish, to make it true, to make it happen, what are the goals that I will set it for myself? Because unless I set the goals, it will always be a wish list. It will never be, you know, that I have achieved it. So, so for example, you know, I'll share about myself. You know, when I got my first job, my immediate wish was that I need to buy a house and a car. It's fine. You know, and, and, and I said, okay, by so and so date, I'll try to get, get this. Now my another wish is that I want to buy a farmhouse and a horse. That's okay. So, you know, by so and so time, you know, I'll try to get it. So unless you make a wish, you will not go towards it. Make sense? So make a wish, you know, make some goals around those wishes. And then the next thing is the time part of it, the time management and the planning. How do we go about achieving those? So there are three more areas that I will try to cover today. One is the time management part. Second is the planning. How, what is the best way to plan our activities or a plan a piece of work so that we achieve the objective Why we are doing it, right? One is that. And uh, the third part is the skills. What kind of skills are required? How, do, how can we upgrade our skills? How can we upgrade our skills to match uh, all, all the skills that are required, what is, uh, you know, that are required to fulfill our goals and wishes, right? To, for, for example, to become a CEO of a bank, you need some specific skills, right? You need to understand finance in and out. You need to understand what is macro management. You need to understand what is micro management. You need to understand what is GDP and how does the GDP affects, uh, you know, you need to understand if one decision of a RBI for demonetization, how will it impact the entire banking industry? So, you know, all this, unless you understand these, unless you possess these skills, you will not become what you aspire to be. You will not be closer to your wish. So you need to get, acquire those skills. So these are the things that I'll be covering in the remaining portion of, uh, uh, you know, till, till four o'clock today. <clears throat> Let me start with uh, time management. So, uh, you know, I'll start by a simple, very simple uh, uh, story. There are three fishes, okay? There is, the name of first fish is, uh, fish is, uh, let's see, wait and see. I will wait and see, okay? And uh, the name of, Second fish was think ahead. Think ahead. What is the name of second fish? Think ahead. The first fish? Wait and, Wait and see. And the name of third fish is think fast. You have heard the story? No. Okay, very good. So the name of the third fish is? Think okay. fast. So these fishes were in a pond, so one day. So there was a fisherman. So uh, there was a fisherman and uh, the fisherman, you know, uh, he put his net in the water and uh, all the three fishes were caught in the net. So what happens next? What do you think? What will happen next? So, you know, the first fish, you know, the, the name wait and see, he, the fish got caught in the net and it did not know what to do. So the second fish plan ahead, you know, the, this fish, particular fish, for somehow they ha uh, it had sense of timing. And then, you know, it knew that this is at this time of the day when the sun is at this particular position, there is a fisherman here. 
or or when the light intensity is this much there's a fisherman who will put the net so the the fish was you know it narrowly escaped getting caught in the net and the third fish was think fast so this fish when it got caught in the net what it do uh, what what did it do you know it pretended that it is dead so the fisherman you know when it caught this particular fish it uh, he felt that the fish is dead uh, he threw that fish into the water so the the moral of the story is one that you should plan ahead in life if you are not able to plan ahead at least think fast but i'll tell you what you know though it's a good story but in my case think fast never works you know i mean i am not that you know you may be there are a lot of people who are very fast who are very spontaneous but in my case you know i generally plan very well i plan ahead unless i am prepared i am planned i'll not get into anything because i uh, you know at any point in time i cannot get into a particular thing and then spontaneously think and and then change my course of action so that is not my personality so accordingly you know you need to gauge what are you good at and and the best way the best way to get successful in your life and and achieve the goals that you want to achieve and fulfill your wish is to plan ahead how well can we plan it and the very basic element of any planning is time how much in our lives are we valuing time it becomes very critical when it comes to planning and this is what you know when whenever you said time management you know i was like you know happy people understand what is time management over here so i'll i'll be talking little about this time management for next uh, 15 to 20 minutes okay all right so what you know uh, today lot of us where you know throughout the day there are lot of days when when we you know when we uh, sit and we uh, feel towards the end of the day that uh, my whole day was busy but i didn't know what i uh, what i actually did you know i i don't know where did i spend my time but the entire day is gone you know we were uh, sometimes we were doing one particular activity we were cleaning our uh, wardrobe we were uh, you know trying to serve we were chatting with friends we opened one assignment and then we put it back in the bag we did lot of things but then the day has gone and we didn't know exactly what what was accomplished right so there are lot of such days so there are you know i'll i'll try to count few time wasters what according to me where people waste lot of time and this becomes very important for time management that how well are you able to understand that these are time wasters and you can control on it so i'll, I'll take it uh, through this time wasters one by one so social media so this is one thing you know which i feel uh, uh, you know we are wasting lot of time today uh, whether it is whatsapp whether it is facebook whether it is instagram pinterest uh, there is one new app coming almost daily you know uh, hike or and then we get a link that download this link and you will get 500 in your account you know we do all those kind of things so i particularly feel and then uh, that we waste lot of time on the social media and and uh, whatsapp or facebook second thing that i re uh, realized and and you know if if you understand if, if it happens with you also you let me know you know we get that anxiety the moment we see that there is a buzz even if we have put our phones on silent as as we have done it now but there is a buzz we know that there is some whatsapp message over there and we want to see who has messaged what right so that anxiety is there throughout the day so anything that i am working on suppose i have opened up an assignment i am working on one particular assignment and in between i get a buzz there is a whatsapp ping i open it up somebody has commented on in the group about you you started replying back and then then you know whatever you were doing you know it is all, all gone and then you get into that mode into the social media mode so eventually what happens that lot of time you spend on social media and uh, emailing and chatting and you know pu putting post on facebook or selfies on facebook but then uh, your work you you know that is sidelined that is that always take, takes a lower priority so limit your time one one way to do it is that okay social media is not bad it is required uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, check your phone 
for WhatsApp or Facebook messages or whatever it is after every three hours and spend 15 minutes on that. But don't be so anxious to reply immediately the moment you get a ping. The best is to uh, disable the mobile data on your mobile because mobile is the one that we use most of the time, right? You switch it off, mobile data. You will not get any pings, you will not get any buzzes, you just focus on your work, whatever you're doing. So this becomes very important. So especially people of, uh, you know, when, when you are aspiring to do a lot of things in your life, you know, IPS officer is not easy. Believe me, it's not easy at all. Uh, I, I know one, one of my friends who was trying to become an IAS officer. He was with me working in Infosys. That was in uh, uh, 2001. He, he tried for five times, but he was, and then he was a ranker. He was a ranker in IIT. So it, it takes a lot of effort, but I'm not saying that you cannot do it. But you know, you have to be focused and, and, and then you go for it and you achieve it. And at the same time, you know, I know a friend, you know, who came from a vernacular school in uh, Mumbai. He was again with me in Infosys. This guy, uh, you know, he was a, from a Gujarati medium school and uh, he narrated his story to me once. So he says that uh, after my 12th, you know, he did 12th from a very, uh, you know, non-English kind of a school where then it becomes very difficult to get technical terms, you know, because science and all in, is all in English and for getting into IIT and all, it is all technical terms. So this guy, he says that I attempted my IIT exam for, uh, you know, first time. He was not able to clear it. And uh, there was a lot of pressure from his uh, friends and family members to get into BSc. But then this guy was determined, you know, like you. He was determined saying that, no, I want to get into IIT. So for one year he wasted and he prepared for IIT once again. He got into IIT Bombay. And he is doing exceptionally well in his life today. He is in US now and, and uh, he is a guitarist as well. He has his own rock band plus he is working for a big MNC. But I am just saying, you know, a person of a very mediocre background, only because the person was determined, he was able to get there. And, and, and that is where, you know, I say that uh, restrict yourself when you are using, you know, all this uh, source of information. You know, I call during our days, uh, I remember uh, getting first phone in our house when I was in third year of engineering, the landline phone, you know, we didn't even have the landline phone. And today my daughter, you know, she is what, in ninth class, she is having a mobile phone. So that's, that's the difference in ages, you know, that what, what, and this particular device, it is source of so much information, so much information. I think anything uh, in this universe, you get to know from your one device, what is happening around. It is up to us, how do we control ourselves? What do we extract out of it? You know, I cannot say it is bad. You know, it is a very good source of information. This much information was not available during our days. Today, you want to become IPS, you know, we can find out what is it is required to become an IPS. During our days, it was not available. You know, like, you know, I need to go and talk to 10 people to find out what does it require to become an IPS. All right, so, so you know, use the device, use the technology that is available for constructive purpose. Don't use it as a time waster. So that was lesson number one. And then you have to promise me today that you will be very disciplined in using your phone for WhatsApp or for Facebook or for any other social work, limited to only three or four times in a day for 15 minutes max and take it up for an interval of three hours. Don't be so anxious, Are message aya, dekho abhi kiska message hai pehle, abhi ki abhi dekho. Don't, don't get into that mode. It is happening with all of us. It is happening with me also. Even in night when I am sleeping, if this phone is next to me, if it is buzzes, you know, I open up and say that, okay, kon message bhej raha hai ko? You know, it is, it is not right. It is not right. Okay? So discipline number one. Two, you know, our inability to say no. We say yes to everything, especially, you know, you are, you know, I, I plan to go for a trial run today. You know, I go, I plan for a jog. Every day, six o'clock, you go for a jog. You go for a jog, you run for, say, 45 minutes. Today, you are going there and on your way to the ground, you know, I am your friend. I come and say that, Kaan ja rahe? You know, you say that you are going for a run. I say, chhod na yaar, aaj ja ke mat kar, ek din nahi jaga, to kya ho jayega? Let, let's, let's go, you know, let's go out, hang out somewhere. Let's go for a coffee. This is where you should have that courage to say no. You know, we don't do that. Are, ye mera bahut acha friend hai, isko na kaise bole? Ya, ye meri bahut achi cousin hai, isko na kaise bole? Right? 
but i think at some point in your life you need to understand the value of saying a no that you know this is what i'm doing now as of now i cannot come or i cannot do this after i complete this i will think about it very important right so learn to say no but don't apply it immediately on your parents first apply to your you know okay. all right third thing you know what i have noticed is disorganization what what i what what do i mean by this is you know sometimes i feel that we are very unorganized we are very unorganized uh, in a way that uh, you know we are very organized in terms of arranging apps on our mobile phone that okay all the apps in this one folder all this chat related apps in one folder travel apps in one folder shopping apps in another folder you know we are very smart with that but when it comes to arranging books in our shelf or you know essentials in in our cupboard or in our wardrobe you know, we are not doing it and believe me sometime it happens and and especially once you get into your professional world uh, i don't know how many of you are helping your parents or helping uh, yourself taking care of your documents certificates so for example uh, today if your college demands ki bhai 12th ka certificate leke aao sab log ek ek xerox leke aao so i am sure at least one or two people in this room will spend two hours searching for that certificate very good so so you know the, you know there are some blank faces here you know i can see double looking here and there so so yeah so so you know believe it's true it's not only with you it's with me also even though i am coaching you guys you know it happens with me also sometimes you know i am looking for an important document and because i did not keep it well on time you know properly filed i keep looking for it everywhere and you know and, and when when you are into a profession when you are into work there are piles and piles of paper and one paper the one that you want you will never get it you will get all other papers it is always that way and and believe me you waste lot of time finding that one one piece of paper so it becomes very important in that uh, you know in your life that uh, we take care of certain things okay in terms of organizing our shelf in terms of organizing our paperwork so if i say that okay you are you have account with how many banks today mahesh you have a savings account yeah. how many banks you have only one account you have multiple banks three banks okay so so you are making uh, so uh, you get monthly statements from these or you get passbook from uh, you get your passbook filled from the bank passbook so when was the last time your passbook was filled for which month you see so now uh, if i ask you that okay i want your passbook up to date passbook today for some piece of work will you be able to get your updated passbook you say oh, sir i will need three days i want to go to the bank i will go and and ba bank will charge you extra correct so why you want to do that correct so we can we can get organized and then we can save on time and we can save on money so what are the three things first one is social media limiting our time on social media second one what was that saying no third one was is organizing our stuff so we need to organize right okay yeah anybody knows the switch please do it now yeah see the last one is poor planning and prioritization so what do you mean by prioritization Prior prioritization priority so if i have three things to do today say for example i want to uh, pay a telephone bill okay and then uh, i want to reply uh, i want to pay a telephone bill i want to reply to an email to a friend and uh, i need to study what is the priority you will give to you know study okay so uh, there are three activities that that i want you know that you have in your day you, know, you have you need to complete in a day one is you need to go and then pay a telephone bill okay you need to go and pay a bill for your mobile second is you need to study you have a exam 3 days down the line okay okay and the third one is suppose that uh, you need to go and pay uh, you need to get a cylinder for your mother your existing cylinder is almost about to get complete or is about to finish 
So what is your areas of priority? Very good. So, so the, that, the, you know, it's very simple. You know, I don't have to teach uh, students of second year degree college, you know, what is priori prioritization. So, so setting up the priority in your task, in, in your task, it, it, it becomes very important. So for example, if you are working towards your wish to run, so your priority number one is running daily, come what may. Everything else takes a second priority, right? And, uh, uh, you know, if, if you want to do something in your life or you want to get into textile, you know, you need to see to it that, okay, this is, if for example, your father is already into it, okay, so you ensure that you spend two hours daily with your father, that becomes your priority number one, correct, and then all other activities can come second, because that's your aspiration, am I saying, similarly for you, okay, so prioritization becomes very important. And uh, what, what do we mean by planning? Anyone? Planning. When I say I need to plan, what do you mean by a plan? Okay. Okay, prioritization, then how to do, what to do. So what is the starting point? Set the main goal. Yeah, set the main goal. What, are, what is that you are about to plan and what is the end objective of this particular plan? Okay. Then what is next? How to do it. So when you say how to do it, what do you mean by that? Yeah, so you need to break it down. We typically call it as a breakdown, work breakdown structure, WBS, you know, so in, in, in very technical term. So I say that, okay, if I want to do this particular activity, I will break it down into series of steps. What next? When to do, so what is, so when I say when to do, what is, when do you want to start it? So is it only when to do and uh, something else? What to do is done, then when to do, what is more important there? When to complete? See, when to do is fine. You know, you want to start it tomorrow, but when you want to complete that particular activity, there has to be an end date. Yeah, because unless there is an end date, you will not be able to do it. You don't know when to complete it. Yes, the due date. So that is your end date. So what is your end date? What else? Yeah. What else? So what are the resources that you need to complete that activity? Right? Say for example, uh, you know, in, in your case, uh, or rather your case, say textile business, right? So you say that uh, I want to under, you know, I want to get into Sasmira, for example. You know, I want to learn a PG, I want to do a PG from Sasmira. So if I want to do a PG from Sasmira, what are the resources that I need? You know, I need to understand how many years it take. You know, how many, what are the fees? What is the source of your fees? Who will be sponsoring for your fees, right? So th those kind of things. And, and, and for example, in your case, you know, you are, you know, it's a very simple task. You want to take your mother, you know, when, when you are planning it. So whether you are, whenever you are planning your mother is around or she is going on a pilgrimage in that month, you know, so whether you have the resources with you and then you need money. What is the best time, you know, when, when there are offers in the airline? So you need to understand around, you know, a lot of dynamics around the task before you do a particular task. Okay, so uh, let us, let us uh, try and create a small plan around our goals, whatever goals that we have written. So uh, in each of your wish, for each of the goals that you have written down. I am sure at least you have written on one goal, each one of you. So for that one goal, try to break that goal into sub-activities and put a due date to it. Make sense? You will be able to do it? And then I'll make at least five of you to come and explain that plan to us. So, so do it very religiously. I'll give you five minutes to do it, okay?
please. The goal. So when you say accountant, it is chartered accountant? No, ma'am. Sir, after TY, I will sell extra courses so related to the account. Okay. So your first goal is you know, graduation and then you want to complete your, you have learned tally. Yes. So you can, what is your due date for this? Due date, two years. Give me a date for, so graduation is fine. What is the date that you want to complete tally, learning tally? In six months. Yes. So today we are sitting on 24th, yeah, 24th of July. Yes. So then 24th of July, and it's done. Yes, sir. Next month I will search classes for that. What else? And I, after the TYB, I searched accountant related course. After the accounts in finance and accounts related course. So we can do the after TYB account and with job also. Who is next? That one? Good. Good, Chandra. Physical examination. 
So, in which year you are targeting UPSC? 2020. When are you graduating? 20. So, you will prepare for two years. Okay. The next uh, IPS officer interview. Anybody who has done it apart from their career on anything else? Anything else apart from your career? If I say that, okay, my goal is to prepare for MPSC. So, by when are you planning to give your MPSC? Immediately after your graduation? Yes, sir. So, this is which year? Uh, second year. So, 20, uh, so, 2019 you will give MPSC. Yeah. So, next year if you want to give MPSC, what kind of preparation do you need? Study general knowledge. You need a semi-credit or... So, there are some mock tests for this? Yes. Sir. So you put a goal that I will try to achieve. What is the target for uh, PSL? What is the score, minimum score that you need? What is the minimum score that you need for PSL? Find out. You know, suppose it is some X value. So try and get that score in your mock test. So take series of mock tests prepared. Again take a mock test prepared. Put a target that by 30th October, you will take a mock test and you will get a score of 70%. And then you take at least 10 tests before that to reach that goal. Otherwise, you will not be able to do it. If you give your first one on October 30th, you will not be able to get it. Only after your first test, you will come to know what is required for the preparation. You understand? So put two goals now. First goal, first action item you put as uh, for your goal of MPSC. First action item is take a mock test by January 31st. So I want, you know, I'll check with your colleague whether you have taken a test by January 31st or not. That is the first target. Then second action item is take second mock test by 31st of March. Then every month you take a mock test. You understand? So that by 30th of October you are so much prepared that you will crack the test. Now what is another requirement? Your uh, other requirement was for the uh, physical fitness. So that is minimum height and weight. So height and weight you identify. Okay, height is I think you have already met the height. So what is the weight that is required? And then I also know that you have to run a lot, you know, there were a lot of controversies about running for selection in uh, Maharashtra Bulls yes. uh, last year. So they make you run, you know, very hard in the, in the sun for a lot of kilometers. So you need to reach to that level. 16 kilometers. Uh, 16 kilometers. 16 kilometers. Yes. So 16 kilometers you need to run. So, so how many kilometers? 16.6 kilometers. 1600. 1.6 kilometers. Very good. So if you want to run for 1.6 kilometers, how many kilometers will you run today? So this is your another goal that I need to run 1.6 kilometers, right? Is there any time limit to it? Yes. How many minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. 1.6 kilometers in five minutes. 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 I think it's pretty okay. Your average walking speed is 10 km per hour, which is around 15 20 km per hour running. That's fine. Fine. So, okay. So, now your target should be you know, you, that is another goal 5 minutes, 1.6 km. So, to achieve that, you need to start by saying that, okay, my first activity is I need to start running at least half a kilometer. So, once you start running half a kilometer, then you say that I need to run 1 kilometer. Then you say, 
Guys, guys, that's okay, that's okay. Can we cross money? That's fine. That is not the point. The point is something else. The point is that how do we break down our goals? How do I break down our goals into action items with a particular date? So that you know, slowly we can keep completing one one by one, you know, each each and every action item and we can try and achieve the goal. It will not happen if you say that you know I have a goal of running 1.6 km in 15 minutes or 5 minutes and you go today for the test, you will not be able to run. You take it from you will not be able to run. So you need to ensure that you need to prepare when. You first say that okay, I'll start running for, uh, half a kilometer daily. So once that for once you have done that, that okay, I'm running half a kilometer daily for 30 days. That's a goal number one. Goal number two, I will run 1.6 kilometers uh, you know, daily for another 15 days. And then you say that I'll start clocking it. I'll run 1.5 kilometers in 15 minutes. Then reduce it to 10 minutes. Then reduce it to 5 minutes. So by October 30th, you are ready with your exam preparation and you are also ready with your physical fitness. And then you are upset. But unless you do all them, you will not be able to meet your goal. Do you understand? Okay, anyone else who is non career oriented, any other goals over here? Come, come, Gunjal, come. Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> my basic wish is to, I just want to make my mom travel in the aeroplane. That is my basic wish. So my plan of action is first and foremost, I am right now my last year. So obviously my first priority is to complete my graduation. I know I can do part-time job, but right now I'm busy with my cultural activities, so I can't be a part of part-time job. So I will do it after my graduation soon. After that, I'll join a company, and then uh, I'll save the money every month a little. Means if I'm getting a ten ten thousand, uh, no, if I'm getting a ten thousand rupees for, for a month, at least I'll save five thousand. Okay as a, a little saving so at the end of the year i'll just evaluate how much money i i need to get to a specific tour if i'm saying that i want my mom to travel to kerala so minimum i need 15000 or 20000 in my hand so can i go there and enjoy even and i, I can also take things with me so i'll obviously evaluate all the money after i save at the end of the year and according to that I'll So plan. you know one thing that you know I'm finding is nobody is putting dates and nobody is giving a very specific task. Because when it, it comes to planning, you know, the very important element of our planning is be exact very specific at what you want. What what is the task and what is the due date. So you are saying that you know I'll get a job. Okay. So you are finishing your graduation now you can see by March 2019. So 2018 March you are finishing your graduation. I will get a job by 30th of April. Is it a very difficult task? No, it is not. If you think for it, you will get it. So put a date to those tasks. Then you know you have written, I'll find a tour. Find a tour to Kerala and all expense paid tour to Kerala, what does it cost? Put a date to it by 31st of January. It doesn't take long to find it now. You can do it while going, you know, all you young people can anyway put a mobile and walk no? I've seen a lot of people doing this and walking, you know. So you find out what, is, what does it take to uh, uh, go to Kerala. So you put a date to it. And unless you put a date to it and finish it, tick mark those tasks. Okay, this is complete. There is a status to every task. Whenever you are defining your goal into series of activities, uh, you know, Mahesh and his neighbor. What's your name? Siddesh. Siddesh. You know, you need to understand that you divide those activities and you put a status to it. It is open till the time you are actually saying that this is done. And if any of your activity is open, your goal is not complete. So you need to ensure that once you have identified those activities, you need to see to it that you are marking it to, you are taking it to closure. You need to do it. And you know, there is, uh, go Mujer, that's fine, thank you. So you know, there is, a very uh, common thing in all of us is it called as procrastination. You understand what does it mean? Uh, no, no, not forecast, it's procrastination.
procrastinators. What does it mean? Uh, we have a habit of saying that I'll make a good. Not today. And that is one of the biggest that is one of the biggest time waster according to me. So the moment you start you know saying that you know this is not today I'll do it tomorrow. So for example you you know you said about public speaking and you say that okay no I'll find it tomorrow not today. And why not today? We can do it today. You know it is urgent for me. It is important for me that I need to do this thing today. The moment we get into that syndrome of putting things to tomorrow that you know, I want to be a marathon runner, but I'll start from tomorrow. You know, uh, like me, you know, I want to reduce my weight, but then I'll start running tomorrow. And believe me, since last one month that tomorrow is not coming there. You know, I'm not able to do it. So, you know, we are victims of that procrastination. We need to stop that. The, once we know that we need to do it, we say that, okay, we are starting it today. And then just go for it. And whatever task you have planned for today, among all your series of tasks and other activities, unplanned activities, planned activities, the moment you know you prioritize, okay, these are the things that I'll do first and then I'll do it next, you know, you know that this has to be completed today. You don't take it to the next day. We all have that habit. We all have the habit of not, you know, paying the utility bills on the last day itself. We'll not do it before that. You know, only on the last day, you know. We all do that. So that, that is something that you know we keep de delaying things. Sometimes it is out of choice, sometimes it is out of force. But that is something which is has to be avoided. We need to do things today. Whatever is planned, we need to do it today. Does that make sense? Okay. So that also brings me to a very uh, interesting theory. There is a theory called urgent versus important. Uh, you know, what is urgent and what is important. So, uh, in a series of activities that you do in a day, uh, do any of you have a habit of making a task list? That what all I'll do today? You do it? You do it. Sometimes you do it. So, you know, cultivate that habit. Cultivate that habit of making a task list. Every day, you know, if not, you, I've seen a lot of people, I've seen senior people, who do it for the entire month and then they carry a big calendar with them, they'll fold it, they'll open it and they'll put a task list on that. But if not for the entire month or entire week, but at least for a day, you need to put a series of activities. Now that after this class, say tomorrow, you are sitting in the morning and you put a series of activities and you divide those activities into three or four areas. That what will I do for studies? What will I do for my you know, friends? What is I am doing for my house or my family? How am I helping my mom or my dad or whatever it is? And, and then, you know, what is I'm doing for any other uh, value that you have identified? You divide your day into this series of activities. Some, sometimes you can always put, you know, your, some portion of your day towards recre recreation or some other extracurricular that you want to do. So, for example, like you said, you know, I am busy with cultural activities today. Or for next three months, I am busy with cultural activities, I will not be able to do anything else. So, why not? Say, tomorrow you have 24 hours. In 24 hours, 8 hours you sleep, that's fine. 16 hours you have. 16 hours, how, how many hours you will spend on cultural thing? You will not spend all 16 hours there, right? So, okay, 4 hours on cultural. And it is not that, you know, uh, uh, I'll spend 10 hours on cultural and day after I have an event to be done. It's not that way. You have time for an annual day, right? When is that? Third. 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 So, so, you know, you need to divide your time. And, okay, now since it is very close, so more time towards cultural fair enough so this is how you divide okay this is my day these are the important tasks that i need to do and these are the urgent ones so urgent ones whether they are important or not i have to do it so there are certain activities which are not important but they are urgent you know, you know like utility bills it, they, are, they may not be very important but they are urgent because unless you do it you know you know it will be you, tomorrow you may not have a charge on your phone so you have to do it so there are certain urgent tasks there are certain important tasks and you need to balance it out. You need to find out what are urgent, what are important, and you need to divide those activities in your day calendar, and you need to see to it that as and when your activity is done, you do a tick there. That, okay, this is true, this is true, this is true. Okay? And, and that's the practice that even I follow. The very first thing that I do in the morning when I go to office, I divide my page into four areas. 
you know, the four areas of work that I typically do. And then I write activities in each one of them. And then, then I, whichever is important, I'll put a star on it. And I'll see to it that those activities are complete. And the moment you get into that syndrome of, nahi, aaj nahi kal karte hai, aaj nahi kal karte hai, you'll never be able to do it. So this is, you know, uh, promise me all the people over here that one thing you will start doing it starting tomorrow is making a list of activities for your day-to-day -day affairs. Whatever minimum you're doing. And, and if you do not have anything to put it, that means that, you know, you're not working towards your wishes. I have to go to college. No, that is not the activity. But your activity could be, you know, I need to figure out, I need to get information for IPS. You know, I, I may not complete it, but at least I'll some, spend some time there. That is one activity. You know, like this. So you list down certain activities. I need to uh, go, you know, your dad must be following up with you for certain things for since quite some time. You know, I need to do this thing. You know, we need to involve everyone around us. You know, your parents should, you know, a lot of people have said that, you know, I wish my parents are proud of us. How will they be proud of you? Only if you are with them. Only if you are spending 30 minutes with your parents. How many of you have a task list that, okay, today I'll spend 30 minutes with my grandparents. Or I'll take my grandmother to, my, to, to temple or to market. It doesn't take a lot of your time. 30 minutes is what I'm asking. An intent. Right? So 30 minutes we want, we say that, okay, this is what I'm planning to do today and I'll do it today. This is for me, not for anyone else. And then you do it. And the moment you get that habit of doing, completing those tasks, listing those, those acts. So you need to give 10 minutes in a day to yourself, plan those list of activities that you will do around your education that, okay, I'll do three hours of study. And in study, three hours, one hour accounts, one hour commerce, one hour, you know, HR or whatever it is. And then two hours, you know, I'll uh, go for, uh, I'll put on health. Either I'll do yoga or meditation or I'll go for a walk. Then uh, two hours I'll spend with my family. I'll help mom cook one dish today. And then two hours I'll spend on my uh, wish of being a public speaker. You know, I'll try to speak for 30 minutes in front of a mirror. Do it tomorrow. Spend 30 minutes in front of a mirror and talk non-stop. So when you talk in front of the mirror, you know what are the expressions. The same expressions the people will see, you know, who are listening to you. So it's, you know, that is how you prepare yourself. It will not happen automatically. Whatever you are aspiring in your life will not happen automatically. It takes effort. It takes lot of preparation. You do it, you prepare it, you fail, you do it again, you fail, you do it again, you fail. You, then you try to master it, you get towards perfection. You know, even in your case, it's a very good profession. Interior decoration. Read articles of Twinkle Khanna, what all she does. You know, she's a very popular celebrity. And then she's very popular for interior designing. She has a store at uh, Aneri uh, Lokhanwala Junction. She has a store over there uh, for all antiques and you know, all those interior like, artifacts and all. So go and visit it. Plan a day for that. So you need to think. And it will not take long. You know, all you need to do is you need to find out certain information, put a task list. And then if you want to be that, you, that is your aspiration, you need to plan activities around it. So planning is done. You know, little bit, little technicalities on, you know, when, when it comes to planning. Once your task list is identified, like most of you have done it now, the second step is, you know, you need, uh, you need to create a detailed work breakdown. Uh, how you can divide into uh, series of tasks, task and subtask. Say, for example, uh, you know, in, in your case, say textile, you want to understand, right? So one is understand the uh, what what is what is textile in in general, right? From uh, 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 say, for example, cotton, right from a, a plant. Cotton is on a plant, right? So right from that, uh, the moment you harvest it, from till from that point in time, till the time it is a garment that you are wearing. What is the process today? Do you know it? So find out that process. Find out what is BT cotton. You know what is BT cotton? BT? Yeah. So find out what is BT cotton. So there is a lot of information. See, BT cotton and all is so hot news nowadays. It's all biotechnology, right? They, it's all artificially genetically modified cotton. So that is what the world is heading towards. So unless you are appraised with what is happening around you, ठीक है रेशम से कपड़ा बनाने का काम तो गांधी जी ने भी किया था आज से 200 साल पहले 100 साल पहले लेकिन आप उसमें नया जो आज की तारीख में चल रहा है उसमें क्या कर रहे हो आप 
correct? So you need to be updated on, you read polyester prints by Dhirubhai Amani, his autobiography. You will understand what is, uh, you know, how did this polyester cloth came into existence. Why is Reliance so popular in polyester? Read that autobiography, it's a very good book. Are you into reading? You should cultivate the habit of reading, each one of you. Take a book and every month finish a book. Read whatever simple you can read. But it's very essential. Read autobiography, you know, since you are into, you want to get into textile, polyester prints by Dhirubhai Ambani. Very good book. You will understand, you know, how we imported the technology, how we created that cloth. Before Dhirubhai Ambani, India was not wearing polyester. In India, we used to wear only cotton or, you know, related cloth, but uh, khadi or those kind of things, but not polyester. You understand? So there's a there's lot of it to get into, you know, your dream is not less, you know, it is your wish of becoming a brand like Arvind Mills takes a lot of uh, lot of uh, effort in terms of acquiring the skills, the knowledge, and then you look. So uh, guys, you know, we are struggling in India to understand what is into existence today. Ki kapda kaise bante, aaj hum usme seekne, you know, we, we are putting it. But then I'll tell you what, uh, in, in, in better parts of the world, what they do, in, in Microsoft, Microsoft, they have a team, in Microsoft or in, uh, at Amazon, they have a team who is not working on today. They are working on something that will be required by the world 20 years down the line. So, this driver, driverless cars, have you heard about it? By Tesla. Uh, this is that they were working 10 years back, that we need to get something called driverless cars. That's the imagination. That's the wish. And, and that is where it is getting possible today. So, up, and that is only possible if you know what is existing today and then you can take your imagination to the next level saying that 10 years down the line what can I get? Then it is possible. You understand? There is lot to interior design in Khushbu. You know, if, I, I don't know, if you get a chance, go to palaces of olden days, you know, go to any, any palace or any uh, fort and then see the way they design the ventilation. In those days, they did not have fans or tube lights. So the way they used to use mirrors to reflect lights, and, and, and the, the way they plan the ventilation so that the room is always windy, and that is designing. Right? So automatically, you know, they reflect the lights in such a way that the entire, the moment you get sunrise, the entire room is lit. Now that's, that's called uh, designing. Now that's the fundamentals. So get your fundamentals right, and then, then get to the next step, even for you. You know, running and all, if you're planning, take it seriously. You know, if you want to joke around it, don't do it. Wish seriously. If you want to run a marathon, you want to run a marathon. Come what may. That is to, for yourself, not for anyone else. Because that's, that's a determination that, okay, I can do it, I thought of it and I can do it and I did it. So, again coming back to topic, procrastination. Don't anything for tomorrow, do it today. We don't want anything for tomorrow. And you know, this being, uh, uh, I was talking about uh, a very important topic here. Uh, if I want to divide a day into series of activities and I want to understand what is urgent and what is important, typically, you know, my chart would be this way. So I can classify, uh, you know, I need to reply to an email, for example, a business email or a college email or, you know, whatever it is important. So, uh, you know, it may be urgent that you need to reply, but it is not important. Or I need to do certain things where I can uh, typically, uh, you know, I need to do it today, but it is not very important in terms of uh, criticality of it. So, typically activities that fall in this quadrant, you can delegate. You can ask your younger brother to do it. Say, for example, there is a bill to be paid where your personal presence is not required. You know, it is urgent, you need to do it today. But your personal presence is not required. There you, you know, you can delegate it to your younger brother or to someone else who is going that way. Okay, please do it for me. Right? So these are typically activities that you are, you are delegating. And there is one act, list of activities which will come here. You know, which are not important and not urgent. What should we do here? Not do it. Not do it. Just eliminate them. Why do we need that? These should not be part of your task list at all. Right? 
you know, if I do not want to watch Big Boss, I don't want to watch Big Boss. <laughs> don't take it personally. <laughs> See, there are people who like it, there are people who don't like it. So I am not against it, but I'm just saying as an example. Right? So, so there were days, you know, when I used to watch full cricket test match for five days and waste all my time. But is it required? It's not required. Right? Okay. Then there are some activities which are urgent and which are important. Now these are your priority one activities. Priority number one. This you need to do it immediately. So in any day if you are planning your activities and anything that you feel are important and urgent, you need to do it now. Alright. So, and then, then there are set of activities which, which are important but which are not urgent. Like for example, uh, you know, a uh, lot of your activities in your goal list. Uh, typically fall in this particular category. It may not be today, but these are important. I need to start working towards it, plan towards it, schedule towards it. For example, uh, gymming, you know, I need to, yeah, exercising. So plan for it and start doing it daily. But okay, if I, I will do 15 minutes of exercise daily whenever I get time in the day. You know, I'll do 15 minutes of meditation daily, you know, and whatever it is. I'll do one activity for my parents daily whenever I get time. Right? So those fall in the category of not urgent, but these are very important for you. So, you know, I'll slowly pull up a list of activities. You can tell me which quadrant it falls. Okay? Paying electricity bill on the last date. Okay. Urgent and important or not important? Okay. okay. <laughs> Planning for a movie. Huh? <laughs> Not important, not urgent, okay. Replying to a friend's email. So it is not urgent for sure, right? It is important, but you can plan it when you want to reply. So you can reply today if you get chance. If you are not able to get it today, you reply tomorrow. It is important. You have to do it, but not urgent. Going for a run, walk, or a gym. Yeah, for some it can be important, you know, because if it is part of the daily routine, if it is part of their, uh, you know, wish and then they want to stay fit, is health is your value, I value health a lot, I ensure that 15-20 minutes either I walk, run or do exercise at home, but I do it. So then that becomes your priority one, that becomes urgent and important. I'll see to it that I do it, whenever I get chance, okay? Working on an assignment to be submitted in three days. What is that? Important and urgent? Yeah? Uh, who said not urgent? So they, you will prepare on the day of exam huh? or the submission. So, you know, it is three days are good enough time to start working on it then. Otherwise, you'll have to do it in class, no? Okay. Response to a comment on WhatsApp group by a friend about you. I think it is very urgent and important. That's what we do today, right? Huh? I think this is least urgent and least important thing to be done. Okay. Checking likes on Facebook. Helping mom to cook as guests, uh, guests are uh, at home tonight. Urgent and important? Opening bank account, opening but not urgent. Opening but not urgent. Two or mat khulna the, teen already hai. Recharge your prepaid mobile phone. So I think it is urgent but not important. If you can ask someone to do it for you, it's okay. Otherwise, it will fall in non-urgent category also. There is no important call that you are getting on your phone that unless you get your phone is on, you know, you are missing a lot of, uh, you know, the world is turning topsy-turvy. Okay? So that is not happening. Okay? 
complete your goal planning sheet so i know it is not urgent and you will not do it but i still want you to do it before 31st so put a date of 31st to complete your goal planning sheet and i'll be happy you know i'll be happy if you know few of people whom i'm talking to you know they are able to achieve some of their wishes and goals so do complete your uh, goal list i think this is becomes very important what we should do is you know uh, uh, should not be ashamed of uh, making it public uh, what uh, what i have done is you know i have made my goal list and i have put it on my uh, pin board soft board uh, in my house so you know, let everybody see it and then uh, that those are my personal and family goals and my professional goals i put it in my office so everybody who comes you know they my workers you know my employees my staff they come and they see it that okay you know these are the goals so it's it's okay to and then more importantly it's for me every day when i go there you know i look at them i said okay these have to be achieved i need to work towards my goals so that i am very focused you know i am not digressing here i am not digressing here this is what i need to do and this is what i'll do okay so whatever you have set whatever goals you are setting for yourself you are serious about it make a chart and put it in make a fancy chart make it put pictures you know draw something make it simple but put a due date to it and make a sub activity and put it there that this is what i need to achieve this is something that i will do all right so that's very important so by 31st at least for few of your wishes uh, try and do this you know somebody uh, you know you should do it you know if ips officers and all is not a joke so if you want to do it do it you know and 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 i'll be very happy if if i am able to see you as an ips officer do it cleaning your shoes not urgent not important yeah, eh? okay. fix up tap at home you know water tap at home urgent but not important you can delegate पर यू ना और यू कैन इफ यू आर नो वन टू डेलीगेट सब काम पिताजी को नहीं बोल सकते तो खुद कुछ भी कर लो तो उसको इंपॉर्टेंट भी ले लो देन यू टेक इट इन फर्स्ट क्वार्टरेंट यू नो एवरीथिंग यू नो यू डो नॉट एक्सपेक्ट योर पेरेंट्स टू डू इट दैट यू फिक्स इट यू फिक्स इट यू फिक्स इट समटाइम्स यू पुट योर हैंड अप एंड से दैट आई विल डू इट यू नो आई विल डू इट टुडे राइट एंड एंड गेट इट डन फिक्स अप टीवी एट होम विल बी अर्जेंट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल आई गेस I want any uh, two people to come here quickly. Any, okay, come here. Uh, you come here. Come. Sit down. Take hundred meters, hundred uh, centimeters. Can I? One piece cut off. Take uh, take a sketch pen, draw a rectangle of hundred centimeters, and cut a piece for me quickly. Will you be able to do it? so meanwhile they do this uh, okay you summarize me what is an activity and what are the important elements of planning an activity so if there is a task what are the important yeah what are the and then you stay here what are the important things for a task planning uh, planning mein planning mein kya important hai wohi to puch raha hu in planning what will you do when you want to plan a task what are the important things नो नो गोल के लिए एक टास्क है टास्क में हम प्लानिंग कर रहे हैं तो एक टास्क प्लान करने के लिए क्या क्या चाहिए आपको प्रायोरिटी ओके एंड स्टार्ट डेट एंड डेट स्टार्ट डेट एंड डेट प्रायोरिटी एंड रिसोर्सेस राइट सो डोंट फॉरगेट इट यू नो एवरी टाइम यू आर प्लानिंग बिकॉज प्लानिंग विल बी पार्ट ऑफ योर डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज यू नो द मोमेंट यू गेट इन टू योर प्रोफेशनल वर्ल्ड and i want you to understand the fundamentals of planning right so there are there is a bigger bigger task bigger picture you need to divide them into smaller tasks if you want to accomplish anything and those smaller tasks you need to put a start date you need to put a end date and then you need to put resources what you will be requiring making sense yes that that will make up a plan okay so you know i'll demonstrate a very simple thing to understand what is value of time okay 
So suppose what according to you is a age or a lifespan of any individual, average? So 75 years is a safe thing? Okay. Now suppose this is 75 years, approximately, you know? Is it 75? Okay, so this is 75 years. So out of the 75 years, what, what is your age, average age approximately? 20? Each person 20 in though. That's okay. It's okay. Understood. Understood. 20. 20. We'll take average as 20 and we'll cut down 20. Just remove 20. It's not a free over 20. 20 is 75. Ah, tick. 20. So, aap loka life, itna life tha, usme se itna life already ja chuka hai. Okay, now this is remaining. Okay? Now just say that what is left, you know, if you feel that this is your remaining life, then believe me, this is wrong. What time you have in your life to do whatever you want is not this much. It is even less than this. And I'll prove it to you. So every year you have 52 Sundays. Generally Sundays, what do we do? So, so, okay. So, it, it is approximately, you know, seven years of your life that you, that, that are Sundays, that you don't do at least some, some certain things with respect to your career. Or, uh, you know, you will take off. Maybe most of the people that I know, they typically don't even do anything for the family. They'll rest, they'll relax at the most. Okay? So cut seven years out of it. Seven, seven centimeters. Then there are, uh, you know, the number of public holidays in our country. More than 26 Jan, 15th August, and then there are a lot of. So, you know, we typically, you know, we treat those public holidays as Sundays only, or either we celebrate or, you know, so we, we cut those uh, 15 years, we have cut though. 50, uh, you know, 15 centimeters, 1.5 years. Okay? 1.5 or 15, you only want Okay? So then your, uh, you know, uh, sick leave and uh, casual leave, your vacation time, when you go on vacation, you know, we go on vacation, every one of us, you know, in your professional world, you'll go out somewhere, shadi mein ja rahe hain, ja rahe sab, aur ek, das, din, nikal do har saal ke, so then you will, you know, you'll remove another uh, 1.5 centimeters from there. You know, another 1.5 years of your life is gone. So, you know, out of, uh, so out of 75 now only this much is remaining correct of your life now let's see what goes ahead it's it's not done here okay it's not complete if you feel this is what you you get time and that's not true how many hours you sleep on an average eight, eight hours so <laughs> so if, if I take out you know eight hours so it was a 170 millimeters cut there, 17 centimeters. So that means 17 years of your life you are spending in sleeping and you know resting, eight hours a day. Okay, 17 years of your life. Original life kitni thi wada? So this was your life. Abhi ta kuch galat to nahi hai na? Sab sahi calculation hai? So, aapki life mein, no, this is time that you have. It's, it's still not over yet. You know, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So, uh, so you spend time in eating, right? So, approximately, you know, if you take two hours daily in uh, lunch, breakfast, snacks, chai, pani, tambaku, vidi, sab karte ho, so coffee. <laughs> So, so in, in that case, we spend close to around two years, uh, four years of our life. So cut four centimeters from that. And, and then, you know, a lot of time we, uh, uh, in cities like Mumbai, we, we spend almost two hours a day in traveling. Two hours, three hours a day. So that is close to around three years. It's yeah. three years, three centimeters or nikal do So just look at this now. Now this is your life, <laughs> and this is your life, and this is what 
you are getting to make use of your time. So to summarize these sessions today, you know, all I would say is that how, what is the importance of time is something that you need to understand. That uh, if, if don't waste even a second, every second, every minute is very valuable. That, that's what you have to make to achieve your wishes. Whatever wishes that you have planned, that you have aspired, please go and sit. Yeah. Uh, whatever you have uh, aspired in your life, whatever wishes that you have thought of, whatever goals that you have made for yourself, you don't have a lot of time. You know, we have not reduced old age from this. If I reduce old age from this, then perhaps you know it will be half of what it, what time you have in your total lifespan that that you can uh, actually put to use, right? So don't waste time, students. Um, you know, time is very important. You plan your wishes, plan your goals, make a good task list, do your daily planning. Do not uh, put things to tomorrow. Yeah, aaj nahi, kal karenge. You know. Yeah, do it today. Whatever you have thought of, make your goals. Make a goal chart and stick in a, you know at your home, wherever you can, and and then read it daily. That what are my goals and whether I am spending my day towards achieving my goals or not. Do you promise me that yes. that I'll see a wish list and a goal list and I'll stick it at my home. Yes. And let's hope that all your small wishes and big wishes for your family, for your wealth for your career, for your education, whatever aspirations that you have in your life, you know, that those will be fulfilled. Work meticulously towards it. Don't waste time. Stay focused. All right? Yes, Thank you. Absolutely, very nice. Yeah, that should be a good idea. Anyone, yeah. Come and... Thank you, sir, for your valuable time and your whatever you have told us today. Because really we need that in our real life. From starting, I was noting some down of the points what you are being teaching in PPT. That's why I asked you on that time, what is the meaning of that thing? Because I was really reading it and it was very valuable. The first thing which I read was my phone's low, low battery warning is the only warning I take seriously and that is a serious thing. People in many times we know that, yeah, this is a deadline, then also we don't do it. Real, if we take today's example, it is a very much thing. People are, we are saying to people at four, from four days at night, please do it, please come, please come, still they are not coming, yes. Really we don't take the warnings. Second night, uh, I wrote was don't give up on your dreams. Yeah, yeah. dreaming. Uh, actually, I wanted to add that point. Uh, APJ Abdul Kalam had said, Ki don't stop dreaming. The first basic thing of doing your dreams into reality is that you have to dream first. So that was a point. Third was self worth. It about what your self worth. You have to know what is your self worth. Then it was about. Yeah, my goal is to be failure. If I reach my goal, I'll feel successful. And if I not, then also I'm successful too. Yeah, this was also a valuable point. Actually, I this, uh, this point I took it positively. Yeah. Yes, it once you completed, goal. yeah. Once you completed your goal, obviously you will be successful. What do you need else? You will, your goal is satisfied, so you will be obviously successful and you had nothing. You will, know, you will not grow ahead. Your you growth know, will stop. Anything but failure. <laughs> because if you think failure is your goal, then you, you know, you always fail. Right? Oh, obviously, sir, because I also know, without failure, you can't achieve success. We have that pro up. Failure is a step, a stepping stone for success. So, yes, you have to fail first to get success. And some of the life values were kindness, health, 
passion, family, career, friends, wealth and wisdom. These are the various points I read. The most of the activities which, are, which, were, uh, which you said that you should do it, actually it was good. We get to know what is teamwork. We get to know, yes, you have to get supporting of your friends. You should get uh, uh, suggestions and considerations from others too. We feel that, yeah, what we are saying is right every time. But that is not true. Yes, you have to coordinate with your friends, your team to make a great deal. And the third and uh, last important thing was wish list. <laughs> yes, to complete your uh, wish, you need a goal, a particular plan to execute. So, yes, yes sir. These were the, some points which I wrote. I yeah. hope that are important. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Gunchal. I got 50% what you learned, but you expressed very well. Um, Any one person? Okay, come, Sapna. That's the second name of dream, Sapna. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your valuable time. So today we really learned many things. Uh, the main thing which uh, really attracted me was that uh, age, uh, age trip one. We really got to know that we don't have time and we don't actually have to waste our time. We all were like in a sleep and today we got a big jhatka after looking that small. <laughs> yeah, we really don't have time and if today we also will waste our time, then our life is waste. That uh, today that uh, uh, a lesson uh, taught by our sir was, sir, really salute you. No one had taught such lesson to us. And so uh, really we had good time with you and plus our friends. Uh, we are, and today we racked our brain, uh, brains to, uh, like, uh, to think that uh, what we have to do in our life. And we should have a, uh, like, so, uh, your smart one, specific goal. If we don't have specific, then uh, huh, we have a goal. But we, even we, we don't know when to achieve it. So, uh, sir, thank you so much to the uh, teacher so much. Thank you, sir. Okay, I hope uh, everyone got this jhatka. <laughs> now, <laughs> before coming out your final result, you have to decide some goal and find your dream will come true. Uh, anyone last? Okay, uh, don't force, please. All and leave. Siddesh? I have to start one picture. Welcome. Siddesh, I have to start one picture. Welcome. Collapse to Bajopele. What is it? I have to start Thank you for your time, sir. Uh, actually, सबने से कुछ बोल दिया, दोनों ने बोल दिया जो बोलना था। uh, मैं जो सिखाऊँ यहाँ से, uh, शायद से घर पे जाके मैं एक ही काम करूँगा। सबसे पहले मैं दो प्लान बनाऊँगा। एक MBA के लिए, एक PO के लिए, और uh, एक होगा करियर के लिए प्लानिंग, और एक होगा हेल्थ के लिए प्लानिंग। uh, एक प्लानिंग जो होगा मेरे मुझे करियर में आगे जाएगा, और एक प्लान जो होगा वो मुझे हेल्थ में आगे लेके जाएगा। So I'll be going with career and health. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Siddesh. Uh, you talk short but very sweet thing you uh, said about the program. Uh, thank you, sir. First of all, I say thanks because uh, this is the first session where I surprised because after the lunch, everyone goes in silent zone or otherwise sleeping zone. But still, your energy is 100%. That means you are achieving something from this session. And um, on behalf of Student Council, I say very, very thankful, sir. You are coming in our college, giving your valuable time and motivated our Student Council. Definitely our uh, students, those, uh, those uh, they are taking charge to motivate and encourage towards the activities, cultural, everywhere. We are getting more response now onwards. Uh, thank you. Uh, one clap for the sir. Uh, thank 
thank you uh, before leaving this class so be just i pass one file you have to sign over there okay thank you thank you so thank you ma'am first of all giving me a chance uh, not though i'm not a part of the students council but i got today i got a good chance to speak in front of everyone thank you everyone first of all as sir said i have a good voice quality thank you so for that and uh, like uh, i today i came to know what is my goal where i have to go where i reach and where which is a path which stops me so i learn many things thank you sir so much